Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in Watery, where uh, where Ati continues to sing his heart out. Let's quietly uh, explore the rest of this place. That was weird. It's one of the cleaner bathrooms I've seen in a horror game, to be perfectly frank. Can't see anything over here. Huh. Hey, it's those pastry things they have at the, uh, the safe rooms. Sociology. For a moment, I thought that was a book about Nordic walking, which would have been a nice reference to the first game. Map of Watery. Nice. Oh, good. Coffee World is on the map. That's a very big section of the map, actually. <laughs> the Percolator. The Espresso Express. The Fair Trade Fun Zone. The Latte Lagoon. Did I mention that one? That's a fun name. The Gift Shop appears to be shaped like a pot of coffee. Kalevala Knight's Workshop. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, the coffee obsession has led a few of my viewers to conclude that there is a cult of coffee also operating here. I love that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, yes, and I did want to address this immediately. Shout out to Torek00, who says, Okay, so I thought of something off-putting with the symbols of the two cults we've seen so far. The Cult of the Trees symbol, as said, looks like an evergreen tree. But also it contains two meeting diagonal lines bisected by a horizontal line. The letter A. The Cult of the Words symbol, as also stated, looks like a sideways B, but you remove the horizontal line and it becomes a W. A... W. I'm worried these are two opposite aligned cults who are both obsessed with the same person, and you know what? It, you make a really good argument for it. And shout out to Roshan, who says, Fun fact, those orange pipes in New York letting out steam aren't actually there to let out steam. It's to allow fresh air into the sewers to help the mutant turtles. No, if only they'd stop eating pizza all the time. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. What a... Valhalla. Valhalla Nursing Home. Why am I talking to the bus driver? Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Oh, no. Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no. I, I wanted to ask you about something else. I'm looking for a trailer, or are you from around here? I'm gonna say, are you from around here? Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Does that mean that Tor and Odin are in that audience there? I'm looking for a trailer. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hi. Hello. Oh, no, you're just one of those people who says hello at me and then says nothing. I do not understand this phenomenon, but I have seen it several times. Also, I can't help but notice how familiar this tree symbol on the bus looks. 
I'm very certain that's meant to be Yggdrasil, you know, with a Valhalla nursing home and all. So that's the second time in this one game we've seen uh, imagery related to the World Tree. Third time if you include the oldest house in Control. Third time in one franchise, anyway. Yurt and Yur. Let me see. There's an old man with an eye patch here. No, there's just women in here. Well, they do look like they came from a nursing home. That one's literally knitting. Oh, by the way, uh... Remedy might have smoothed everything out with Twitch, but I guess that YouTube didn't get the memo, because they didn't like me listening to that song from National Nightmare last time. But it the does seem is even worse here. Oh, More wow. like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. <laughs> That's not even go. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a platform. There's supposed to be more fucking town here. The staircase just leads down into water. It's like they won't let me just go into the water and totally submerge myself. Is that a dumpster? No, it's like a cooler, but still. Completely submerged. And also hey, wide open. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. You know, I'm not going to speak for uh, small town America, but around here it would be very much be considered a threat to be walking around with a shotgun <laughs> slung over your shoulder in a residential area. The laughing Naki fresh seafood. Sorry, we're closed. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Okay, thank you, biker lady. Nice leathers, though. You know his gaze. You can never forget. <laughs> oh, those aren't lockers. Watery's definitely quaint. Good to see ya. Sup. Siamese fr catch of the day. I bet they have good fish here. Fresh out of Cauldron Lake. I do like fish. that the good ship Ritva over here eh, I guess you're only about to a uh, hundred feet from the water's edge but why would you put it across the road eh, I guess you don't have a choice huh oh, you rascal what have you been up to this time around are you talking to the boat there's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole you're talking to the boat I googled that phrase, incidentally, uh, yurt and yur, or however the hell that's pronounced. It is a Finnish phrase that means midnight sun, so nightless night. But, uh, I wasn't able to get any actual context out of it, like how it's used. I mean, it's really bleak and depressing around here, but a lot of places are like that after it rains heavily. You close your eyes and it sounds pretty. Bird song and all that. You know, the lake looks actually quite pretty in the daytime when it's not trying to fucking murder you. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. Contact He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. Contact Ilmo to Koskela him. to find your dream home today. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park Light, Laughter, and Love will guide you home. Well, that doesn't feel out in the nose. 
Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. This Seems is, nice. This is Finland. Oh, there's just a dude here in a, a, wearing a towel and nothing else, leaning on a pair of crutches. Enjoying the sauna? Enjoying the sauna. You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> wait, wait, though. At the oldest house, they are very aware that Ati is like a god or something. You know, they are aware that the oldest house probably wouldn't run without the weird tasks he undertakes. You know, like, ooh. Like going to clear out the mold, or uh, fighting the giant monster made out of... It appears to be made out of human waste, which he calls the clog. You know? The, uh, the position of director is also referred to as the position of janitor's assistant for that reason. And, uh... It is very explicit in their rules. If you see Otti, leave him the fuck alone. Do not in any way, shape, or form interfere with what he's doing unless he starts talking to you and requests something of you. If that happens, drop everything you're doing and do that. And then I get here, and... Everyone's treating him like a normal person. I mean, okay, they're treating him like a fucking rock star, but they're treating him like a normal person. Let's just go over here and have some beers with the god of the sea. This is crazy! And let's ask this naked man about the cult of the tree, sure. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, no. Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. And I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. I don't actually see a sauna. I see two other guys in towels over here, but they're just standing hey, there. Sarah, a sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Dude, he's just trying to be a friend. I mean, I'm the one making it weird, of course, but. What is Have that? you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. That guy sucks. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. Oh, it's a folded up uh, life jacket on this uh, picnic table because the water goes all the way up to this guy's front fucking porch. I guess it's the back porch since it faces the river, but what, the, I mean the lake, but whatever. Whoa, sure is nice out here by the water. I will take nice your words quiet. for it. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I guess it's not as dark, it's just my eyes weren't adjusted. Bullets! I'm gonna take these, just FYI. If I can find the spot to hit A, the prompt has disappeared. Okay, I'll walk over here and then check that out in a moment. What's in the fridge? Nothing? Thought I saw a prompt there. Ooh! A drawer. With shotgun rounds in it. Not gonna say no to that. Ha! Ah, batteries and handgun bullets. Worked that time. <laughs> Turn on the radio and it's Yurt and Yur playing. I always find the mundane details they choose to detail in video games very interesting. That's a very well-rendered Zippo right there, the set right next to the ashtray. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. Because the uh, the oldest house is related to the human, the collective unconscious, and because it's you know because the collective unconscious is a few decades out of date with reality. You know, it takes a while to seep into our minds and into the collective subconscious. Uh, because of that, the uh, oldest house has, for example, started automatically putting ashtrays everywhere, because in the 50s it was still perfectly acceptable to smoke in the office. So it's just ashtrays with no ashes in them all over the fucking place. Let's be clear about this, just because the oldest house is providing them for you does not mean it's okay to smoke indoors. Oh 
Oh, this is the sauna. Hot. That's where the door is just a fucking stick. No, not the door, the door knob. It's a wooden door with just a random branch uh, nailed to it. Let me just close that and not let all the heat out. It's a nice swing set here. One of these old, uh... It's one of those big swings. It's really more for just rocking back and forth. It's a bench hanging from chains. For uh, Justin's sake there. Alright, I guess I'm meant to be heading that way. Here's my car. Maybe that'll work. Did I go into this building? There's a bunch of shit piled up in front of that door, so it's not going to work. And it's just an enormous pile of shit piled up on this side of the building. Oh, nothing important is in there. And, uh, Mind oh, giving no. me a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising the work. And? And it's super. This guy sure does love fishing. Or maybe there's a uniform to go fishing around here. I don't know. Hey, a staircase. That usually leads somewhere. Oh, there's no stairs in the staircase. It's all falling apart. All right, fine. To the car. Watery is an interesting place. Oh, right. Driver's side. Oh, I don't want to go to those. Okay, I guess I'll walk to the damn trailer park then. I walk with purpose. What does that say? Getting your motors running since 81. Car and boat mechanics at Kari's Garage. Probably pronounced Kari, as I think about that for even one second. LD2ZORK. Left dead to orc. Hey, Saga! Over here! Oh, look who it is. In person. It's the Koskeles brothers. I remember you from the commercial. His, that guy's beard is just as vibrant in real life. Or, well, it was live action then and not now, but you know what I mean. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Hmm. Well, I know he can point me to the way to a trailer, so let's ask about the cult. I was kind of hoping Yako would be, uh, like, really, really bubbly and emotional when he wasn't on camera, like he's super shy or something, but, uh, I suppose restrained but capable of emoting like a real person is also uh, amusing. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. I think I can see a teacup ride in the background in between them. Although it's probably Coffee World, which means it's almost certainly a coffee cup ride. I'm looking for a trailer. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Oh, resident? No. I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. I hate this. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Profiling time. The Koskelas. 
Urban legend or the trailer? Urban legend. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. But they don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. I know there's got to be a significance to uh, the way that everyone in these profiling things is absolutely flat and deadpan, but I can't think of what it would be. Even Alan sounded like that when I was profiling him. The trailer. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Like on the sign. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Cases. Trail of the Cult. Oh, fact versus fiction. It's a picture of a trailer. Wake says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. That's not how it works, Saga. What's fiction has become real. According to Wake, the story is changing people's memories. That's why they think they know me. But I'm not a character, I'm real. Need to track what, what's part of the story and what isn't. Which parts are false? Which, if any, are real? Elmo owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived, called me his funniest resident. Oops. Rose, recognized me at the diner in Bright Falls, says I moved away after Logan died. So here's Elmo. Oh, no, the question, not the picture. Huh. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes, but seriously, what kind of life did I live here? My life in watery? That would be this one. Oh, no. Well, then let's try this over here. Logan is not dead. But what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. Logan's part in the story? Hmm. Oh, yes, and we've got some more questions, but the timer has gone. So before we ask them about Coffee World, or where my trailer is, air quotes, um, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. The mystery is only deepening, and I have a feeling we're nowhere near the bottom. So uh, hold on to your butts, and stay in the light.